Oh. I, I, I didn't expect to see him so suddenly. <laughs> he just showed up at a, He just showed up. <laughs> not even like a lead in. Would this have been a new episode? I don't know. I, I'm not keeping. I don't have a timer on me, so I don't know how long it's been since I started this session or this episode or last episode. I don't know. I don't know. Editing me is gonna fucking hate me for this. <laughs> um, hi. I don't have a voice for him. Mm. You fucking must be. <laughs> Man, I only have so much voices to give to people. I, it's, 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 there's so much characters in this episode. You must be Phoenix, right? Oh, whatever, just, I don't care. Y yes. Pleased to meet you. I am Ken Dingling. That's not your name! But here at the circus, everyone just calls me Acro. I didn't remember that being his real name. <laughs> Ken Dingling. Mr. Dingling. <laughs> Mr. Acro. Um, how do you know my name? The detective told me. He said you'd definitely show up here. Acro, you're a member of the circus as well? That's right. I mainly perform on the tightrope or the flying trapeze. But nowadays, all I perform is in my wheelchair. I, I, I was so surprised that we came in here and it was very that his appearance is very sudden there's no lead into it but i guess we'll talk to him acro why did you join the circus when i was a kid my parents failed miserably at business then one night they decided to run away from it all without me yo your parents are dicks the only person who was willing to take my parents place was the ringmaster the ringmaster took such incredible care of me he was truly a lifesaver it seems like the ringmaster was truly a saint. How do I don't even understand how, like legally, how do parents just abandon their kids? Do do like authorities or whatever not look into like the, not look into who the kid is and then like go find the parents to give the kid back or like talk to the parents about how you can't just abandon your kids? I know this game is like super old, so and it's also an anime game, so rules don't apply. But like, I I know in like real life that's a scenario that happens all the time. Uh, not all the time, that happens a lot, doesn't it? Like parents actually abandoning their kids and shit? Whatever, I don't know. He was. That's why I decided to do something very important. I decided that I would devote my entire life to finding a way to repay him. And now, look how someone repaid him for all the good in his life. It's, it's such a shame, man. These birds in HD look so fake. <laughs> Bring back Polly! Sometimes, I think that he was almost too kind. Perhaps he was too kind to his performers. Perhaps he was too kind to his daughter. Hmm? I wonder if he spoiled Regina. Regina is so cute! She's truly a princess! Truly a princess? Are you sure that's a good thing? Um... Hmm. Do I detect a hint of grudge against Regina? <laughs> he wants to be treated like a princess, but he can't because he's not his, he's not the ringmaster's son. <laughs> or daughter, whatever. Um, I'm sorry to ask, but why are you in a wheelchair? The nerves in my legs were badly damaged. And you can't walk now? I can't even stand now. And since I live on the third floor, I can't even leave this building by myself. They really should have moved your room? Somewhere? Uh... And that's awful! The accident happened during an acrobatics session, right? What accident? How do we know this? Oh, I, I guess he just asked as a question. Um... Cyclox! I love how the birds knew, they're like, Oh shit, this guy's about to see some shit, let's get out of here. It doesn't seem like Agro's injuries were acrobatic in nature. Oh, they're back! <laughs> what is on your mind, Mr. Wright? Well, exactly when were you injured? It's been almost six months since I was hurt. I injured my legs during practice. Six months ago? What in the world went on in the circus then? Yeah, six months ago and they really didn't consider moving your room unless he was being stubborn and being like, No, 
I might not be able to stand now, but I still want to live up on the third floor. I don't know. I stopped by yesterday and noticed that you weren't in your room. I was at the hospital all day yesterday. Ah, you went there for re rehabilitation? What about the murder? Of course I knew about it. I spoke with the police before they allowed me to go to the hospital. Before I got the call from the prosecutor, I was convinced that it was all a dream. Huh? I just couldn't believe it when I saw what I saw. What you saw? Jeez, that sounded really ominous. What did you see, Agro? That night, I was in bed sleeping when I heard a huge sound coming from below my window. I see! The scene of the crime was right below your window! That's when I looked out the window. What did you see? I thought he had a crossbow in his room for a second. What the hell is that triangle thing? <laughs> he was flying straight up into the air. He? he? Maximilian Galactica. What? That's what I thought he'd say. You're absolutely positive that it was Max you saw flying? I am absolutely sure. There is no doubt in my mind. N Nick? Monkey. Heh, <laughs> money is a great friend to me. That pile of treasure over there is his collection, huh? It is indeed. Money will bring anything back with him. Ah, that's so cute. Where did the fucking tuba? What's that? What's that instrument? It's not a French horn. Is it a tuba? Where did that come from? Yeah, I'm not great with the ladies, but I seem to be pretty popular with the animals. What? Why are you not great with the ladies? You're cute, I think. Hmm? What's this? That's what we want to know. It was posted in the cafeteria the morning before the murder. In the cafeteria. What happened? He suddenly looked incredibly serious. If it's got something to do with her, then you should go straight to the source. Her? Regina, ask her about it. I haven't fucking seen her at all, but I'm going by. How do I get there? Bye. Regina. Grrr. I've got a bad feeling about this. Grrr. Wonderful. Today's special must be Phileo Phoenix. Stay, stay, heal! What was her voice? Oh god, it's been so long since I've seen you. <clears throat> Can I my voice even handle it? Oh, Maya, Nick, it's you guys. I'm sorry. I guess I made a mistake. Uh, m mistake Yeah, a little one. I was thinking of teaching whatever primate was out there a lesson. But I was expecting more of a monkey than a human. <laughs> a monkey? Oh my god, my throat. <laughs> Actually, my throat is fine. It's just that my voice is like... Ugh. It's a pity about what happened to the ringmaster. Dad? Everyone loved him, didn't they? He must have been quite a man. He was. I love my dad so much. I hate to say it, but she doesn't seem all that broken up about her father. That's why I feel so lonely. Now that I won't be able to see him for a while. For a while? Yeah. When Leon died, I talked with my dad, and he told me that when someone dies, they just become a star in the heavens. A, a star? That means that my dad is looking down on me from the sky. And that's why I love the net so much. I can see everyone who's gone. I, I like I want to give her a slight accent, but I don't know if it's really worth it. And I keep forgetting to give it for some reason. When someone dies, they just become a star in the heavens. That's kind of sweet. But I bet you there's no way that Maya believes that. What do you mean there's no way I believe that? <laughs> do you think that one day 
I'll be a star too? Of course! You really think so? Yeah, you will. You're definitely gonna die at some point in your life. I think. I've got a feeling that everyone is doing great up there in the sky. I wonder if everything's alright with Regina. Just to go back and clear something up, why did you want to teach Money a lesson? Because he's a meanie! He, he got something um what? He's got something that means a lot to me. Something that means a lot to you. It must be something shiny, right? Um, actually, it's a stage costume. It's got lots of spangles. It's really beautiful, you should see it. We should? When the costume gets hit by the spotlight, it dazzles. Hey, Mr. Attorney! Huh? If you saw that monkey, you'd get my costume back for me, wouldn't you? It's really important to me. <laughs> Gladly, but of course, I'll get it for you. <laughs> I love how he doesn't give you an option. Leave it all up to us! I guess there's no turning down that request. Yay! You're really gonna do it? Boy, howdy. I guess I'm gonna show you, lady. Regina, have you ever seen this before? Uh, I know what that is. But really? Mm, well, it was in my pocket for a while. It was in your pocket? This piece of paper? It was in your pocket? Hmm? I guess I noticed it was there around breakfast time. Breakfast time? Yeah, I always take Akira's breakfast in the morning. That's why I also take out the trash in his room. Then I go to the cafeteria to eat my own breakfast. That's when you realize the piece of paper was in your pocket? Yep. Plus, since I'm not a murderer, I just figured it belonged in someone else's pocket. <laughs> um, this note that's calling someone a murderer couldn't possibly be, be meant for me. It must belong to an actual murderer. And then what? I wondered if the person who lost it was in trouble, so... You didn't put it on the bulletin board in the cafeteria, did you? I did! I stuck it up there! How'd you know? Hmm. So it was Regina who put it up there. When did this happen? Hmm. The morning of the murder, I think. That explains a lot. I wonder who wrote this? Hmm. I wonder who indeed... Am I done with you? I guess now we're looking for a monkey? Nothing here. Where find monkey? Monkey. Monkey? Monkey. Monkey? Hmm, Mo's not here. What's that? I hear something. S Stop it, Nick! You're scaring me! Oh, there he is. Nick! It's money! That monkey's holding something. That's it! That's the thing that means a lot to Regina, remember? Alright, time to take on this monkey. Attorney style! <laughs> what is this, like an RPG or something? Ooh, 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 scratch, scratch. <laughs> ooh, 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 scratch, scratch. <laughs> ooh, 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 ooh! Wow, ooh, ooh! <laughs> Yikes! Whoa! <laughs> I like that we were trying to talk to him. <laughs> <laughs> I tried to have a monkey the monkey talk with him. I really did. Nick! You... you... I swiped it while money was distracted. Wow! You're really on the ball today, Nick! Let me see it! Let me see it! Huh? You can see it fine from where you are. You know what I mean! I really want to try on Regina's costume! Maybe then I'll take you into the circus and I can get some peace and quiet. Hmm... What's the matter now? It doesn't fit me at all. Oh well, guess it's time for you to lay off the burgers. <sighs> oh, that's me. Don't say that. Not to mention, it doesn't look like something any girl I know would actually wear. It's not Maya's size at all. Then whose size is it? Is it Regina's size? Let's go give it back to her. Good God. All right, it's a lot of walking around here. Hey, we got something for you. Here you go, Regina. You really got it back for me! Don't mention it. I love you, Mr. Attorney. 
God, she looks so fucking scary with those eyes. Oh, <laughs> Bush. It's nothing. No wonder guys melt too much in front of this girl. Hey, Regina. That costume is yours, right? I tried it on, but it didn't fit me. Hmm? This costume? This isn't mine. It was Leon's. Leon's? You know, the line she told us about. Oh, the one that someone killed. Let's talk about the lion. Wow, look at that beautiful lion. <laughs> Leon, he was killed, wasn't he? That's right. My dad killed him. But why? Well, Leon did something really bad during practice. During practice? Leon was sitting down, and then he opened his mouth. You know? Gah! Uh-huh, uh-huh. Usually when he did that, I would put my head into his mouth. Uh-huh, uh-huh. What? Wait, wait! You put your head into a lion's mouth? I sure did. The people in the crowd always love seeing me do that. They'd always start screaming. You sure they're screaming because they love seeing you do that? Any- well, anyways. What was the bad thing? Oh, yeah! Leon bit someone during that practice. R Regina! Everything was alright though, right? No, it wasn't alright. That was my problem. I mean, that was the problem. My dad was incredibly angry. And that's when Leon... Yeah, that's when he became a star in the sky. Poor thing. Buddy. Um... Well, now what? Now what? Oh. Okay, I was expecting it to say, Mo's not here. Something smells fantastic! So we know it can't be Mo! Wait, I know what it is! It's burgers! Hello, hello, hello! Welcome to the bitch room to Sir Key! Uh, sir, uh, whatever, aka the cafeteria! I <laughs> throat. And, well, actually, I keep saying my throat, but it's not really my throat. It's kind of like... I guess it's kind of my throat, but it's not like it's tired of giving out. Well, it is giving out. It's like, it's not straining. You know, I can still go. It's just, my voice box is just like, nah, dude, or nah, girl. You're talking too much. You've reached your daily, you've reached your weekly quota, quota of talking. Mmm, it smells so good in here. And those burgers look great. She's drooling like she's some sort of crazed burger monster. Man, I really want a burger, but I'm not hungry enough for a burger. My burgers are the best! Juicy meat, toasted buns, special sauce? They're absolutely irresistible to anyone with a hankering for a burger! What bite will send you into hamburger heaven? I bet! I can tell by the smell! Whoa, I'm getting hungry too! Those burgers must have some, some, some kind of special power! I mean, it doesn't seem like we've eaten, so... Now that the Freak Master is gone, what are you gonna do? That's all I've thought about the past two days. Everyone loved Russell. You've heard Echo's story, haven't you? Like how he was adopted when he was younger? He's calmed down a bit now, but he was living when he heard about the murder. Echo was so upset that he said he couldn't go on. He was that upset? Yes, he was. Anyways, I gave it some thought. Maybe I should give up on trying to be a half-baked clown. I've been thinking of crying on the ringmaster's shoes. What? Really? Max will still be an issue, though. Max? He may be a bit mean and hard to work with, but it's hard to argue his importance. He's probably the reason the circus is still around. A lot of what he says is right. Mo! All that's left to see is everyone can go over the tragedy. You know? The tragedy? You know? What's he talking about? Get over what tragedy, Mo? Huh? Uh, don't worry about it! It's nothing! Nothing at all! You must mean the tragic death of the ringmaster, right? Yes! Yes! That's it! You're right, girly! Ha! Huh? Ringmaster dead! Ha! Huh? Murder funny! Ha! Huh? Dang! 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 Correct the mundo! Doesn't he mean ding? <laughs> dang! 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 <laughs> Mo, I mean no disrespect here, but are you lying to us? Egg! No! Not at all! What made you think that? Just the way you said, if everyone can get over the tragedy, it seems a bit strange. It sounded like you were talking about something from a long time ago. Eek, 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 eek. Why is he eeking? Mo, I'm right, aren't I?
Oh, oh, so now we're getting closer to the truth. It was about six months ago. It was just a little accident. Give me a break! Us old men have accidents! I wear big pants for a reason! Six months ago, eh? Whoa, once you find out what the, what that accident was, that's a really fucking mean thing to say, Mo. Uh, how do I find out this accident? What do I even have on me? I have a lion. Can I... I can't do his thing here, right? Let me see. Let me see what his what he's looking for. Mo, please tell us what happened six months ago. What in the world went on in the circus? Okay, okay, there's no need to look so scary when you're asking me. Hey, look over there! Some juicy burgers! Let's eat instead! Unfortunately, I'm more of a grilled chicken sandwich by myself. Uh... Actually, I've kind of got an idea what happened back then. Mo, you said something about an accident? This wouldn't happen to be the cause of the accident, would it? I heard a little bit about it from Regina. Leon made a mistake during a practice, right? How did you? Oh, <laughs> I have to click. <laughs> I told him so many times. You shouldn't be doing such dangerous acts. Like putting her head inside Leon's mouth, right? Yeah, but Regina believed in Leon. She believed so strongly that the ringmaster went along. He never could say no to her. Out of curiosity, who was bitten? Come on, Mo. Don't climb up on me now. Who did Leon bite on the head? Well, oh, I promise I wouldn't say anything. You promised. He's involved in this too. He's involved, huh? Mo must be talking about... Mo, is this the person that you promised you wouldn't say anything? It must have been Agro, right? How did you know? Don't worry about that, Mo. Getting to the bottom of this. Well, getting to the bottom of this accident may help solve what happened to the ringmaster. No, no way! I need to know the truth about what happened to Russell. Please tell me what you know. I'm sorry, Agro. Hey, we did it! I didn't even have to go anywhere! Nice. Yeah, heal me up, baby! Hell yeah. I should be healed up fully automatically after a trial. What the fuck? It's just like you said. You know, the accident. Did someone die? No. But it probably would have been better if he had. What? How would that have been better? He's still alive. But when he got bit, he suffered massive brain damage. Oh yeah! Die! He'll never recover from the coma that he's in. Coma? All he does now is lie in his bed at the hospital. And that's all he's ever gonna be able to do. Man, I fucking hate that. Like, I hate the thought of, like, knowing somebody, like, someone that's close to you or knowing anyone, really, that's, like, comatose and just in bed and never gonna wake up but they're still technically alive. It's like... If I was ever in that position, I would just like be like, just just pull the plug. What's the point of keeping me alive for the chance that I might wake up? I know there's some people that are that have had that happen. They've woken up and they've recovered and they're like fine and everything. But like for me, I'm like, I don't want to put that stress on people. I don't want to put that. I don't want to give them the hope that I'm going to wake up. I'd rather just like you let me go and then you grieve and then you move on or something like that. I don't want that. I don't want that for anyone. That's that's too sad, especially if you don't know when they're ever going to wake up. Also, the bills. The bills of keeping someone alive who's fucking comatose in a bed? No thanks. No thanks. America. <laughs> I see. How is he related to Acro? He's his brother. Huh? The person who got bit was Acro's brother. B brother They were an acrobat team of brothers. Acro and Bat. Cute nicknames, I thought. Anyways, they were an incredible team. Cut down together in their prime. Um, who is Akro's younger brother? Oh, look at him. He's almost like Apollo. Almost. <laughs> Sean Dingling. But everyone always called him Bat. He fell in love with Regina. 
trying to win her love was his downfall. Everyone fucking falls in love with Regina. My dude, guys, come on. Just because she's the only girl? Maybe we should have hired another girl or something so they can keep this, like, well, I don't know. Everyone seems to fall in love with Regina. Six months ago, while we were practicing, all of a sudden, Bad blurts out, let me perform with Leon. Why did he do that? I don't know, but that's what caused the accident. I'll never forget that moment. It was so strange. Leon had the weirdest look on his face. He was smiling. Ah, cheese. He? You mean Leon? Or uh, he? You mean Leon? Yes, Leon. When he bent down, he was smiling. Ah. Um, num, num, num. Some sick grin. No way! That's impossible! A smirking lion? A flying murderer? Why does it seem like this is always Mo who catches all these incredible events? Nick? Can lions smile? Uh... I don't know, can they? Can they, like, actually, like, purposely smile? Like, there's probably instances where the, you can catch them doing something that looks like a smile, but can they actually, like, purposely smile? Like, if they're happy and you know it, do a smile kind of thing? We never told the police about the incident. Their circus would have been shut down if we had. The next day, the ringmaster took Leon out and shot him with a rifle. That's fucked! <laughs> First of all, you lose a line, but also there's a boy that's, in, that's just comatose in the hospital and no one questioned it? No one questioned why he was comatose? So that's what really happened. You would have had to call the ambulance, no? How did you just keep mum about this? Well, you guys are so serious! What was I supposed to do? I had to tell you! Ha ha ha! Dad murder! Ha! Almost dead, I mean. But all this truthfulness has put me in the mood for a burger! Here! You two have some pepper! Shaka 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 shaka! There he goes again, acting like a no his normal crazy self. Ah! Uh, ah! Uh, ah! Uh, achoo! Achoo! Nice! What a wonderful sneeze! Thank you, I was trying to be quiet. Huh? You think so? And you sneeze with pepper and slip on a banana peel! That's basic clownmanship! Girlie, like, I know you got you understand that! What the fuck is a gaudy? Is that like cheese? Nick! I think I'd make a good clown! Also, Regina, I've never seen a cuter sneezer! <laughs> does Regina sneeze with pepper too? She does! Bat would always tease her with pepper! B Bat? From my point of view, those two always look so perfect together. They look perfect together, huh? He also looked like he would have been around her age properly. 22? Um, well, I mean, well, actually, Max is younger. That's weird. Okay, well, he doesn't look like. Uh, the, and the bat looks like he's like the same age as Regina. That's weird. Why does Max look so much old? Oh, whatever. <laughs> Who cares? Well, now what? Well, now what? Am I done with you? 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 Achoo! Sorry, but I don't know shit about that. Okay. Okay, I'm just a clown. Okay. Oh, wait, no. You wouldn't know anything. You wouldn't have anything to say about the note. I'm gonna present uh, a bat. What do you think about this person? Sorry, sorry. I've already given my heart to another man. I'm not interested in more than a dating show. I just wanted to know if you knew this person. Hey. That was a boy that you know. He was a boy, she was a girl, and I make it any more obvious. That's Pepper, isn't it? From the cafeteria? Huh? It's from the cafeteria? It's not? I remember seeing it there. Hmm. So this is the cafeteria's Pepper? You know, I'm not a big fan of Pepper. Tell me more. Uh, fine, I'm leaving. Oh, that was the pep- that pepper that we had was originally found in the box. Right? The box that- the, the wooden box? Right? I think so. Found inside the wooden box. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. Uh, let's go to the detention center. Hey, Max, you got anything to say? Where are you? Oh, she's not here. They must have taken Max in for questioning again. There really isn't anything that we need to ask him right now anyway. You're right, I guess. 
Anyway, let's go then. Okay, bye. Bye. I'm never coming back. Bye. Let's figure out. Do you want to go see Acro? Acro? Ah, Mr. White. Back again, I see. Well, he did say I'll be back. Oh, wait. Or was that someone else? <sighs> Shut up. We're back because Acro's hiding while his legs were injured. He was hurt in the accident six months ago. It would seem that he knows what we that we know. Well, well, it seems you've got things you want to talk about. So far away. Let's talk. Let's present the Magatomi. Hi, birds. Sorry, you can come back later. I have to ask you, how were you injured? I'm sorry, I thought we talked about this. It was an accident that happened during practice. An accident during practice? Yes. Unfortunately, acrobats are prone to all sorts of injuries. He's lying. If that were the real cause, he'd have no reason to keep it a secret. Acro, are you really telling me that a practice accident was the cause of your injury? Huh? Okay. Leon. Six months ago, you were attacked by the lion. That's when you were injured. I know I'm on the right track. I just need to keep going. You're saying that I was attacked by a lion? That's what I'm saying. I'm sorry, Mr. Wright, but I'm an acrobat. I'm no animal tamer. If a lion was coming at me, I'd be running for the exit. Okay, maybe attacked is not the best word to be using. So let me rephrase that as battled with the lion. You seem to enjoy telling jokes. Why would I decide to battle a lion? Because you had to fight it. You had to fight it and save someone. But. Take that. Bat. It was a shame what happened to your brother six months ago. You tried to save him, didn't you? And that's how you got that terrible injury. Mo. He must have told you. That damn fucking clown. <laughs> yes, we learned about Bat from Mo. But he didn't mention anything about you in regards to the accident. I suppose it was just a slip of the tongue on his part. That's how I figured it out. A slip of the tongue? Anyways, they were an incredible team, cut down together in their prime. Cut down together? That was where he slipped, and that's how I figured it out. You two ended up at the center of the same accident, together like always. I see. But an accident is an accident. It wasn't anyone's fault. I still haven't broken Akro's last cyclock. This must be one incredibly deep-seated secret. It wasn't anyone's fault. Do you care to explain more? Akro, I know you're still hiding something from me. Maybe someone you don't seem to like is, is the reason you're being evasive? It is the girl. R Regina. You always seem calm and collected, until you start talking about her. Saying things like she is cruel. Well done, Mr. Attorney. You've got quite the set of eagle eyes. You know, her tiger tried to attack me. Regent tried to attack you. Twice. Ha ha ha. He wasn't serious, I'm sure. You're not trying to insinuate that I believe she spurred on Leon to attack Bat, are you? Leon was never taught a command to attack people. Regina isn't capable of doing anything like that. Besides, Regina had no reason to want to hurt my little brother. Regina and Bat were such good friends back then. But you still hate Regina! I've got proof of it! What? What are you talking about? Oh, maybe I overdid it again! But if I can hand something over to Acro, maybe I'll... Here's proof that you had it out for Regina all along! Uh, ba 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 da ba Is it the note? Take that. Okay. Th this. Where did you get it? Regina posted it on the bulletin board in the cafeteria. Before that, it was in her pocket. Hmm, I guess I noticed that it was in there around breakfast time. I always take Akro his breakfast in the morning. You wrote this, and then you put it in her pocket. That's right, isn't it? It doesn't even look like her outfit would have pockets. That's right. Well done, Mr. Wright. My legs were injured by Leon. 
six months ago. My younger brother, Bat, had a dare with Regina. A dare? An absurd dare. Oh, I remember the dare. If I can put my head inside of Leon's mouth like you do, you have to go to the movies with me on a date. That's insane! Didn't he know how dangerous that is? We all thought he was being stupid too. But that line was very old to begin with. And age brought with it countless experience in doing that very trick. Unfortunately, this particular time, I guess Leon wasn't ready or willing. And that's when the accident happened? He just wanted to take her out. To the movies. Poor Bat. I mean, she seems like open to accepting people's loves apparently so like why couldn't he just be like let's go to the movies I, it seemed like she would just say okay to it it doesn't seem like you need to coerce her into saying it or like doing a dare or whatever when leon chomped down i jumped towards him then leon attacked me and that's how i ended up what about bat he's still in a coma i went to the hospital yesterday to visit him i see I'm still waiting for him to open his eyes again. And that's the reason why I keep going. Bat and Regina. They were such great friends. Oh yeah, I wanted you to take a look at this. What is it? What is it? This is a scarf my brother was wearing when Leon attacked him. Gross! It's covered in blood! <laughs> that's so, that's so this scarf. It was a present from Regina to my brother on the day of the accident. Hmm. When he did it, he looked like he was smiling. He? Leon, obviously. Oh! When he bit down on Bat's head, the expression on Leon's face looked like grin. Are lines? Actually, I was gonna say, are lines that small? But I actually don't know what, what a lion's size is like in comparison to a person. Nick! I know! Most of the same thing! What do you think it all means? Who's saying this? I'll be taking that scarf if you don't mind. I don't know who's saying this. Oh, hi. You're still here? Ms. Von Karma? I've already heard everything. So hand over that scarf. But the scarf is evidence in the trial! That is for me to decide. I think we should begin our preparations now, Akro. Preparations? I've served the summons to Akro to appear in court tomorrow as a witness. Akro, we'll talk more at the prosecutor's office. Akro! A witness? Come, Macro, let's go to the office. Yes, ma'am. Okay, bye. Now what do we do, Nick? How are we gonna handle tomorrow? Don't worry about it. I'll figure something out. Look at you all full of confidence. You must have found something you can use. This is all beginning to come together now. To be continued. To be continued. Honestly? I really wanted to finish this, but I get the feeling that I'm not gonna make it through to the end of the trial without like wanting to off myself, so I'm not going to. I'll be smart about it, and I'll just finish this tomorrow, maybe? Presuming that I have time tomorrow? Whatever, we'll see. Um, thanks a lot for watching! Uh, have a good day, uh, don't, don't. Don't, don't be a clown when you grow up. Just don't be a clown. <laughs>